Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. I have another Dollar Tree haul for y'all today. I've been hitting up the Dollar Trees in different areas, trying to find new things, trying to find all the good fall things, but nothing is really out in my area. Not too many things. I did find a couple of things. I may have to do this in a two-part series today because it's quite a bit of stuff. Without further ado, if you are new here, welcome. I surely would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button Turn on that notification bell and you won't miss out on an episode. And if you are a regular here, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate you. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget those thumbs up. They really help the channel out a lot, guys. Okay, guys, let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to show you, we're going to go into the food category. Okay, the first thing that I purchased are these hot dog buns. They're very good. Always get them there for a dollar. I'm not paying more at the grocery store when you can get them at the Dollar Tree. And a repurchase are these watermelon taffies. They are four ounces. They didn't have them there for a little bit and these are very good guys. If you haven't tried them, give them a try. I think you really will enjoy them. Okay, a repurchase, something that I really enjoy having as a little quick snack are these Frutia mini bars, pumpkin seeds and nuts. You get 3.18 ounces. These are very good guys. I'm gonna open one. So you can see that they are individually packaged. You can put them in lunch sacks, keep a couple at your desk. Look at that. Really nice, they taste very good. The best buy date is March 1st of 2022, so they do have a, a good product date on them. So these are very good. And that was it for the food category. I'm gonna jump into the school supplies, little bit of storage uh, organization, a repurchase. I did find more of these containers. I have been showing these on my channel. They are wonderful, guys. I am using them for all sorts of stuff. Right now, I'm using them to put my makeup brushes, my makeup and stuff like that because I'm having to run from room to room. This is a good organizational product for office, school supplies, just about anything. So I got two more of these. Now, a new product that I found that I picked up right away are these little mini storage containers. I'm going to open one up. I picked up three of these. The first thing I thought about when I picked these up was my sewing kit. I am going to have an area just specifically for my sewing. And I thought, okay, this is a great item. And they open like that. They come with little tabs just like this. So you can sort, make the, the area, the size that you want right there. Slide it into the little cube there. I thought, you know, I can put uh, needles, straight pins, all kinds of stuff in here. If you're a crafter, this is going to be a great product to have in your craft room. And they are nice and thick. They are not flimsy at all. So I picked up three of these. And I'm thinking that maybe I'm going to pick up some more because they are that good. with the organization I picked up these storage containers in this metal colors I, these are not new they have been around for a while but they're in and out all the time these are just bigger and these are smaller again organization for my uh, sewing area I thought these would come in really handy use your Cricut to write the name whatever you're going to store in them uh, you can put them on, a, on the wall you can hang them just about anywhere now, to go with that, I did get these magnetic uh, buttons. You get 12 of the large and 14 of the small, and these are great. They are very strong. I'm going to show you. See, you can't even pull them apart. That's how, that's how strong they are. And I got them with this in mind, thinking I'm going to put a magnet on the back. See, hear that? Hear that magnet? It's really strong. So I thought about that and I said, you know, I can hang these right in front of me with the name on the, on the container and I know exactly what I'm looking for. So great product to have for a craft room, sewing room, office, anything. Okay, in the school supply section, I picked up two of the primary pencils and these are, I'm going to turn them sideways, the little chubby pencils. 
Fun fact, I love to use these pencils to write with in my journals. I don't know, I just love the feeling of them and you know, you don't see them around too often. So when I saw them, I was really, really happy to find them. So I picked up two of these and they will last you for a while. I have some that I've had for, for a couple of years and they were finally getting down to little sizes like this and I was happy to find them. Another item that I picked up in the school section was this pencil bag with the little grommets at the bottom to put in your notebooks. I just like the iridescent part of it and right now I am having to use a notebook for my project so I thought you know I'm always looking for my pins this is going to be great I'm going to put it in there today. Okay and the voila bags I picked up some new bags. This color well it's white they have not had these white ones in. These are smaller you get three and the larger ones you get two. I picked these up along with the gray ones. They had a really pretty shade of gray and you get three on this size. And to go along with those bags, I picked up some very colorful pom-poms. I've been missing out on the really large ones. I had found those before and I have not been able to get them, so I thought I'd better pick these up. And I also got some googly eyes, some colorful googly eyes. What I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna decorate one of these uh, bags for a birthday gift with some pom-poms and some googly eyes all around it. Uh, right now I'm not able to do that because all my crafting supplies are in storage, but as soon as I do, I will post a picture. Okay, a set of uh, pins, these are Paper Mate gel pins in the black and the red. I always pick these up when I see them. It is Paper Mate, a name brand product, and I love the way they write. So you get a red and a black. And by the way, guys, if you are one of the people that always give my videos a thumbs up, thank you so much. That really, really helps my channel out a lot. And sharing and leaving a comment also helps out a lot. So if you're the one that does that, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, in the toys, in the summer section, they still had quite a bit of stuff. I found this water and swim water ball sling shooter. It is like a slingshot with a water ball in the middle. And it is soft for the kids to play in the pool. It's going to go to my godson. I'm sure he's going to love that. I'm not sure his mother's going to like it, but okay. He will have tons of fun with it. The last couple of items, guys, if you stuck with me so far in the bath section, I could not believe when I saw these. Look what I found, guys. Some microfiber washcloths. Four of them, 11 by 11 inches. Look at that, four of them. Yes, granted, they're thin, but you know, these can be used very easily, the white ones in your craft room. Use them for what they're intended in the bath. You can use them to, for your sink, uh, a lot of things. But since my new theme is gonna be white, gray, and black, look at that, look at that, white, gray, and, and I'm gonna go back and get more, I decided. They are very soft. Let's go ahead and open one up so you can see it. And there you go. And like I said, they're very thin, but they are very soft. I think they would even be great for dusting uh, furniture or, uh, or TVs, computer screens. I think that would be great for that as well. I got two packs of these. I will be getting some more for sure. The last kitchen item that I got was a repurchase. I finally found the Scrub Buddies scrubbing sponges. I love these. I have mentioned them before. I'm going to come up close so you can see this one is the silver one and this one is the one in the brass color, copper color. These sponges work so, so good. Now, the, the rough part of it, I use it for my stainless steel pots and pans and then the softer part. Of course, you use it for your glasses or your more delicate things. I wash my dishes by hand, so these really help out. I love them and they last. I don't keep a sponge very long in the kitchen but I've noticed that these I'm able to keep a little bit longer and I really, really like these. Now we had a runaway here. I picked up three packages of these. That's how good they are. I hadn't seen them for a little bit. I wasn't able to find them and when I did, I said I better stock up and I might even go back and get some more. So let me know if you've been using these, if you like them and enjoy them. Okay guys, that's gonna be the first part of the video. Stick around for part two. I will have it up a little bit later after this one. Don't forget, turn on that notification bell and you will be notified when that video comes out. I will talk to you soon. Bye.